Welcome. Look at this gem behind me. As you can see, the body is flawless, so it's not gonna take much work to bring it back. But we're gonna go into that today. Let's do a quick pano of what we're working with today. So somebody liked Bondo, loved it. Like they might've actually bought stock in Bondo. Somebody may have also lost a key at some point. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but that guy, that guy should have not done that. And it looks like somebody tried to beat it with a hammer, which makes sense. Oh yeah. And then you can see it turns back into paint over there. Um, yeah, there's some body filler down in there. So, we've got a little bit of work to do. Somebody hasn't been feeding this thing its kale burgers and avocado toast that it needs to keep its pores clean. So the actual story of why this isn't finished is even lazier than you'd expect. The car was backed up into its space in the garage for like four or six years because jack stands became its like natural habitat because it couldn't roll because why would you expect a car to roll? Totally unreasonable expectations of the situation. So when I was trying to get this area ground down to bare metal, it just didn't, uh, you can see I did not succeed. So now that the car is looking a little bit better, it can move around, we parked it differently. Now we're gonna try to get all this cleaned up. But of course I've saved like the best for last. So we're underneath the car again. This is, this is my natural habitat. We're gonna go ahead and remove those two bolts that hold the bumper on over here. I already got them broken loose over here. There's really nothing for you to see besides me moving a ratchet. So I'm gonna tell you a story about my childhood. My mom always used to say that if you try out for the swim team, you're gonna get wet. Which is probably true. But I never really understood what she was, I mean, I understand like you're gonna get wet if you're in the water, like don't be shocked. But like the amount of times you can say that to a child and wonder if like, should they have joined the swim team? Or like, why didn't they join the swim team? Would I have been better if I joined the swim team? Like all these unanswered questions. Like how would my life be different right now if I had joined a swim team in high school? Like, would I be underneath this car, turning this bumper? Would I be on under a different car? That would be crazy. But, like... Is it too late to join a swim team now? Like, I'm sure I can't join a high school one. <laughs> they wouldn't let me in there. They'd be like, sir, you're a grown-ass man. You can't be a high school swim team. Unless they did, and they were like, ah, that guy's so good. Like that one movie that they, they pretend to be like, they're a detective, but... They're not a detective, and then they're going to high school. I'm too old for that. They would know. They would know. Is there an adult high school swim? <laughs> the high school swim league I can join? That would be good. That would be the. Oh, that would be exactly what I need in my life. Like, what's the audition process for like an adult swim league? Like, do they just get in get in the pool and you prove you don't drown? What happens if you did drown? Like that's their testing procedure. Like we knew it, that guy was gonna die. What happens if you did die? And then you have to call your parents and, <laughs> maybe not your parents, but they'd have to call somebody and be like, hey, we knew he was gonna die. He drowned in our pool again. This is why we have the auditions. This is why we do things. Oh, there we go. Okay, that didn't really do what I wanted, so we're going to have to take it out all the way. I was trying to cheat, just loosen it a little bit, so hopefully I didn't have to pull the whole thing off, but <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> why not join a swim league? Okay, let's take the other one out all the way, because this is just not going to go well for me, I can already see it. When you know a project is going to go great is when it starts off bad. Okay, let's go back up top and see what horrifying things we've done up there. Alright, I think we got her all juiced up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. That fits like a terrible fitting glove. That came off, actually that, was, that wasn't, that actually wasn't too bad, I'm actually surprised. Now I need to get these eyes off because I need to see the full situation. There's a good situation brewing here. 
I need to see that full situation though. So let's get the trunk open. Now that I've got the trunk open, we can go ahead and loosen these up. And luckily my ability to never finish anything means I didn't tighten any of these bolts down. So that's a, that's a victory today. That's an actual victory. Perfect. Let's see if the other ones come out that easy. <laughs> well, I only used two bolts on this one, so yes, yes it will. Oh yeah. 